I'm going to show you a quick demo of how we can use the Integrated Architecture Builder to convert a PLC5 system to a Control Logic system and automatically generate the bill of materials I need, including the new wiring conversion modules that allow us to convert 1771 field wiring to a Control Logic system. So I've opened up Integrated Architecture Builder. I'm going to select an Integrated Architecture Workspace, and I'm just going to call this PLC5 Migration. Click OK. I'm going to leave it defaulted to the Control Logic subsystem. And when the Control Logic uh, wizard comes up, I'm just going to cancel out of it. So I've got my System View window that's open. And you'll notice that there's a 1771 to 1756 uh, 1771 migration button that's available. So I'm going to select that button and drop it on the screen. And now if I double click this icon that was created, the 1771 migration icon, it pops up a new window that says 1771 migration chassis selection. So from here I can click add chassis allows me to name that chassis if I want to. I'm just going to leave it as default. Click OK. And it opens up this, this window that allows me to, con to lay out my current PLC5 system and generate the bill of materials for my new 1756 or Control Logic system. So I'm going to just uh, say that I've got a current A2B PLC5 chassis and I want to convert that to a Control Logic's A7 seven slot chassis. You'll notice it drops the icons on the, the images on the screen as I do that. Now I'm just going to pick a P4S power supply and I'll say I want a 1756 PA72 power supply to replace that. And I can start dra dragging and dropping items into the PLC5 chassis and allow it to do the conversion for me. So let's just pick an L40E. PLC5 processor, and I'll say I want to go with a, a Control Logic 1756L62 processor in its place. You'll notice it drops those images in as I do that. And I'm just going to populate this PLC5 chassis with a few I.O. modules, a 1771IA, just an AC input. I'll drop a couple of those in. An OA is a AC output module, I'll drop a couple of those in. Um, IFE is just a standard analog input module, so I'll drop one of those in. You'll see it prompts me in some cases to pick um, so, some a variety of options to, to correctly um, choose the wiring conversion adapters that I need. So in this case, it asked me if I've got single-ended or double di differential voltage or current input. So I'm just going to pick a single ended voltage mode, leave that in the chassis, and then pick an uh, analog output module on OFE and drop it in the chassis. So as I'm doing that, you'll see this control logic Im image at the bottom, along with the wiring conversion modules, gets stuck into the chassis. So from here I can select OK and then generate hardware. So it pops me back to the system view screen. If I go to my hardware tab, you'll see it actually has generated my the image of my Control Logics chassis with the modules and the wiring conversion system. And if I first save the project and then click my project bill of materials button, it actually generates my bill of materials that includes the field wiring conversion system to go from that PLC5 system to control, control logic system. Uh, part numbers are automatically generates, generated and integrated architecture builder double checks to make sure I haven't forgotten any parts in that conversion process. So this is a real handy tool. It's fairly new. If you go to the Rockwell website you can download it's an integrated architecture builder. One last thing I'll show you, if you go to the help button in that integrated architecture builder, there's a labs option. If you select that labs option, you'll see there's a number of different um, labs that are included with that download, one of which is PLC5 to compact logics or PLC5 to control logics that'll basically step you through what I just did.